Hey boss babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your new first time here and you're new, my name is Joanna Robinson and I am your boss babe queen of course. Press the subscribe button and join the boss babe family because we're lit over here, okay? Now as you can see from the title, today is another story time. I realize that you guys like story time and I'm at your request bringing to you another one. The time we try to steal our babysitter's cats. We need to try to use somebody posts. That's the basics, right? <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is jump into the video. Alright, as I've told you previously, when I was about six years old, I used to live with my siblings. So I used to live with an older sister, Sam, my younger sister, Fifi, and daddy, right? But the thing is, daddy used to travel in the week. So he used to be in like Montego Bay for the week until on the weekends he would come home. So while he was away, it was it would only be either me and Sam or um, Sam, Fifi, and I. Because sometimes Fifi would go with daddy wherever he was, he was going, right? This particular time... Fee was with us. So we used to have some babysitters come sometime or whatever, whatever. This time we had this babysitter called, let's call her Miss L. Now Miss L had diabetes, I, I believe. And she had this cut on her foot that it was always bandaged up, right? But to be fair, she was very clean and we never say, it was never a case where the bandage was icky or nothing like that. But I just want to mention that because it's a very key point to the story and our plan to steal her post. Like one day she had come to home to us like and she was telling us about the fact that she's going to collect some kittens right some guy called her from noon and she was gonna go up to the guy meet the guy and collect about two or three kittens and stuff right anyway she made us breakfast and she then left to say all right she's going she's gonna start walking as i mentioned earlier she had this cut on her foot and it was bandaged up so she didn't walk as fast right in our infinite wisdom Decided that we are going to go mission steal Miss L's post. After the day, they just come tell me about the fact say she had get cat and whatever. We need to get the cat. And therefore, it was our divine right to go and to get this cat before this woman reach. How were we going to go out there? Okay, let me tell you our majestic plan. One, we were going to take a shortcut through the cane piece. In front of our house was a Big old cane peach. They had done harvesting, so then they took the cane already. So the plant was just growing back. So they never high high where the cane peach was full, but so we could have seen like other new one. But at the same time, it was not flat, and Miss L would not have seen us um, if we, if we decided to go through. I come from Newton, but I have two sections. Coming from Newton, you take the first left to go to building, and if you continue straight, you go to Barn Spring. We were at building. So then, you know, so if we come out of building and reach a Newton, and yeah, we come out of building, right? Go to the center, then you take your right, and you got Newton. But instead of doing all that, we just have to cut through the cane piece. Obviously, it's a shot. I would have reached the bridge before you reach a Newton quicker than Miss L would. Firstly, can we just dissect the story for a minute? Let's just explain the faults within our plan. First thing, was health concern. Three little girl picnic. Remember, say me, I was six in a grade one. Sam, just in a grade five at the time. If he's three years younger than me, so three of us going through the key and piece when nobody knew where we were going. That's a safety concern. Remember, the canes are growing back, but at the same time, they're cane piece. So anything can I can piece them, yeah. And even though the plants were not fully grown, they were still partially grown so we did not have height on us yet for everybody to see us above this someday right so anybody could not come grab we and um take where we are do anything you understand and yes while well, sam was older than me so he couldn't say oh probably me never tall enough one but sam did, must be tall enough no sam is the shortest one out of all of us he can probably tower over we and anything go wrong we we we, we babysitter did not know that we were going to can't be sugar tea for our Nobody never did home, so if you come missing, you, you understand? So first of all, that does be wrong. Secondly, say we were supposed to reach out there before the lady, because to be fair, the plan is not a bad plan in terms of getting there. It would have been a shortcut. But 
when we reach to noon now, the next bit that I, I am just, you know, now with my level of maturity and understanding. I was just thinking, when we reach to noon, where are we going to collect this post from? Remember, so we don't know what money now. Miss, Miss L come tell her, say she make a plan with the guy to collect him. She never tell her who the guy be. We don't know nobody out there. Oh, where you go to noon go do? Every month when we go stop them and say, sir, are you are you going to give the lady the post? We come to collect it. I then who were we going to out there? Then say we ended up finding who the person was by some great miracle, yeah? Just for the sake of the story, let's say we found out. How are we going to convince this grown-ass adult to give three little pitney when I know from Adams to give us the post them instead of give the lady we planned to the other adult that he had planned to give that was on her way to get them from him? Make it make sense. When can I get out of my head? Because I cannot. Which I don't know they right, man. I would say three people when I know from Adams come up to them and say, Sir, and you did a plan for you to get the cat, wake up, give it instead. Which adult would have been like, oh yeah, sure, no worries. It just never made no sense. We never planned nothing with the man. We don't know him for Adam, the man don't know we. How do you treat the pit nipples? Say we ended up, just for the sake of the story, don't worry, couldn't be no people. Say we ended up convincing the gentleman to give us this post. How were we carrying this post home? Remember, I know, me are six. Because he says three. Sam is in grade five. Me don't know if you angle post. So me I collect post I go, what me I go do with it? Me I carry no one bag, we don't understand. How would I carry it home? There are so many things that wrong with this story. Me to remember the, the number that we're at now. Again, by this time, shouldn't Miss L reach by now? Because even though yes are foot sick, but surely. By the time if we go to a key and peace, if we go find a man, if we go convince a man, if we then go see how we all carry this post, should I reach? I knew it already, knew it not far. So when she reach now, what would I go say to her? Because at this point now, should I reach a new one? So now let's say we go to a key and peace again, because if we walk a little from, the, from Newton Cross through this up, Go over the bridge and then cut three cane pieces if I take a cane piece again. By this time, this woman would have most of the road now if she couldn't just slow. So then, what would I say to her at that time? Imagine you left your tree, tree little pit in the baby sit in the yard. If you go collect a post and you come out and say, see the material your post. Where would I say to you, man? When she broke your dark post. Say that by some strange paranormal activities, that Miss L. Absolutely forgot where Newton was and took a wrong street to Barton Spring and then by the time he turned back, it too late to see the And say that we did make it again past the health and safety concerns back through the key and peace and go home. One, eventually she would have had to reach to Newton. When she reached to Newton, what did we think she was going to do? Did we think she was not going to realize that the guy was gone and the, the, the cats that she came to collect, they were not there? Did we not think that she was going to call up this man and say, wait, which way you there? And if we convinced the man and I think he might have said, oh, I convinced you to pick me. Like, so surely she would have found out, yeah? But if, say, she didn't, for some strange reason, she did not find out. And she go out there and have, a, have amnesia and forget that she went to collect the cat. When she turned back and came home, remember saying, oh, we live in the same place where she had come, you know? We are going to steal this woman post. As if they put a, a one hand where we can hide. It's an animal. Animals. Yeah? Kittens. We have teeth our puss. When she come home in the evening, what were we going to do? Because surely you can't say meow meow, do So you, we never think that she, she'll go see puss? There are so many things wrong with this plan. First of all, why is it that our baby that told us about a cat that she's gonna go collect? And a normal reaction to that would be, oh, I'm happy for you if you like cats, whatever. Why instead did we decide that we wanted to steal 
purpose. That's not a normal response. That's not a normal thinking. What come up make a woman if woman post? What kind of bad man this is that? Like, the woman can tell you about her post and we never want post. And I like say, we love cats. Me if you want me to like cat. So why now Sam, me, and Fifi? This is we got if woman post. We are going to reach out there before the lady and go collect her post and come back home with the bright self. No, that's worrying that at our age, that was our, that was our, our, our thought process. Somebody told us something that we got teeth, right? I don't know how we're going to feed the cat. I don't know how we're going to... It plan doesn't going to work, people. It plan doesn't going to work. And, and God saw that. So as we are step, we put on... But remember, we're in a, we come in a we have good shoes like that, you know. We put on, we look at shoes and dress up and put on, we look at tights and so. And we thought, tap. Right down to your in peace. <laughs> and we start to, So then Sam reached down in the trench, because there's like a trench there, you know, because they have big trenches and so. Sam reached down in the trench, turned back around, she picked up Fifi, she helped me come down, and we go for the set off, my love. Next thing we hear, excuse me? Oh, excuse me, Samantha? Oh, we neighbor. She has how me love I run come out of her yard. Like, Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? So we turn back. We turn back and we go to her. Because she called me, you know. Because she, hey, she's supposed to have a story if you tell you, no. She's supposed to have a story if you tell, like, wow, wow. I tell you that woman there. We must, we must have been her favorite channel. When she wants just news and TV and said, I, I must wish she just turn on us, say what she made it and now. She has to if you tell me love. So she has called me and said, where you guys going? <laughs> and she called me over. Them time there, we have to go over. And I like, see, you can't go fret like, like, say, no, we're not going to yard or we can't say, you must see one thing. You go tell daddy, make it get extra beaten. So go tell her, how you call it, push me love. Tell her, how we go call the post out on you? She said, listen to me, I'm going to go home. <laughs> she said, I'm going to go back home. He said, listen to me, go back home now. That's how come I never go back to the teeth of my post. Because we never get to get the teeth of our post. And they tell her to go back home. The funny bit is, Miss L got to... <laughs> <laughs> she go call the car for you know, and come back home. Unbeknownst to her, we just go to a whole job and make up plan for go to the post. Poor she, she go call the car post and I come back home and show her post. So I tell her, she doesn't even know so we don't go to the ugly post. But she come and show her post. <laughs> Look how much she go there and her post now out there. Hmm? I pity she don't know so we don't go to the fire post. But she come and she show her cat the man. I say, Look on this one. Look on this one. I pity she never knows that she, look, she go out there. She might almost go out there, people. And no cat now out there. And we can't convince our brainwash them and figure out cat them. And take a shortcut. Go to the post. But we didn't because our neighbor sent us back home. And it's a good thing. You know, God knows why he never make me go to the human post with you. God knows why he said um, we never to be there to see us. Because anything could happen to it. You know, anything could have gone. But you see, God ever ever protect me, even when we there think about the absolute madness, cause I cannot get over it. Even when we talk to Sam no, I say, Sam. What what kind of plan was that? Like make it make sense. And every so often, like we sit down there laughing because we're like, we went through some foolishness. We did some stupid things. It just never made sense. Poor Miss L. And she come the happy and joyous, you know? When she didn't get her post, the man and no say, it's chill, you could pick them, she'll look after that with teeth it. Something must have been in the ear. Because we're not normally like that. We don't even steal. I hope you enjoy the story time. <laughs> now look how we know we are now. We did six. And ah, little laugh, if you did three. Some did that just ten, eleven. So, yeah. It never made sense. But I hope you enjoyed it still. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.